questions. Um, air brakes. Question number one. The application pressure gauge shows how much air pressure you you have where actually what the application pressure gauge shows that's the question are applying to the brakes applying to the brakes application applying application applying that's what uh, uh, you have application pressure gauge for to see how much you are applying to the brakes uh -huh. application applying very good Question number two. The spring brakes used on the chambers in a straight truck will bring you to a stop when air pressure drops below how many PSI? Blank space. How many PSI? That's something you just need to remember. 20. It's 20 PSI. 20 PSI. On 20 PSI, uh, the um, spring brakes automatically um, come on and will bring your uh, truck to a stop without you. Okay? This is what we call emergency, emergency brake. brakes. Emergency so, brake. So when you read that brakes which bring you to a stop, not you press the brake pedal, they actually automatically will come on and bring the truck, the vehicle, to a full stop. 20 PSI. Okay, very good. Number three. Some air brake systems have an alcohol evaporator. What may happen if you don't keep the proper level of alcohol? Okay, and you need to remember if even you don't know what the alcohol evaporator, uh, mm, what it is for, you mm, well you may guess that if you don't keep the proper level something wrong happen ice may form in the air storage tank and cause a brake failure brake failure and uh, again uh, second notice if even you don't know anything about alcohol evaporator brake failure failure happen your keyword. Mm -hmm. You don't keep the proper level of alcohol. You don't. You don't. You don't give the proper attention to the system. Brake could fail. Well, actually, they will. Okay. Ice may form and cause brake failure. Number four. Your truck or bus has a dual air brake system. If a lower pressure warning comes on for only one system, what should you do for only one system? That's something, again, uh, you shouldn't be tricked. Because if a lower pressure warning comes on, doesn't matter for one system, for two, for three, for all of them, what you need to do? You need to stop. Bring your vehicle to complete stop. Right. Right. Stop right. right away. That's what actually warning signal is for. You need to stop right away and park safely. A safely park. And continue only after the system is fixed. All right. Very good. Let's see. That's correct. Lower pressure warning. Stop and safely park. Question number five. Why drain water from compressed air tanks? Uh, you need to remember that uh, air brakes, air brakes, they use air instead of hydraulic fluid. And sometimes in the air, the water, the, the water can condensate. That's why you need to drain it. Otherwise, the, the water can freeze in cold weather and again cause Same. brake failure brake failure whenever you see this word brake failure most probably it will be for you an indication that this answer is most probably correct okay so you need to drain water because it can freeze and uh, cause brake failure very good question number six Safety valve is set automatically when pressure is uh, how much? Again, 
make an educated guess, safety valve, something which protects you from extreme condition, all right, so 150. So when the pressure gets to that point, if something happens and uh, if uh, your air compressor pumps the air into the system, it gets to that high point, then safety valve uh, takes over and um, um, decrease the pressure into the system. Okay? Safety valve, it protects you when pressure is extremely high because normal air pressure again is 125. When it gets 150, that's when safety valve is automatically start uh, starting working. All right? Question number seven. Your truck has a dual air system and uh, one of the system loses its pressure. What will happen uh, if the pressure, if, if you start to lose pressure, uh, probably your brakes w won't be working properly. Again, the brake system, air brake system, uh, is uh, for you to safely uh, slow down and uh, slow down the vehicle and stop. If you lose the pressure, so one of your either front or back brake will not be fully operational. Okay. Question number eight. <clears throat> Parking or emergency brakes of trucks and buses can be legally held on by what type of pressure? Please pay attention. They can legally can be legally held on, turned on by what pressure? By spring pressure. Spring, no leaks. Spring pressure your emergency brakes they are operated they are turned on legally held on by spring pressure not the air not the fluid spring held on spring question number nine if your truck or bus has dual parking control valves you can use pressure from a separate tank to to do what Again, don't pay attention what the dual parking control valves is. Just remember, if you uh, have this uh, well statement about dual parking control valve valves, just remember this is some uh, additional small tank with the uh, extra air which you could use in the case of emergency. If the emergency brakes are on, that these valves, these dual parking control valves, uh, enables you to release spring emergency brakes to move a short distance. To move a short distance. Just to move a short distance. It's not for regular operation. If something happened, that's what you need these dual parking control valves for. To release emergency brake and move just a short distance. Short distance. Separate tank, short distance. Question number 10. If your truck has a properly functioning dual air brake system and minimum size air tanks, the air pressure should build up from 85 to 100 within how many seconds? Just mechanically remember 45. 45. That was uh, uh, a case for the old truck which was made before 1975 or even uh, even earlier. And uh, in that in that trucks, in that vehicle, that was uh, such a, you know, a requirement. Just remember now, those trucks, you won't probably uh, see uh, those trucks on the road now, but remember, 85 to 100 corresponds to 45. All right? Question number 11. How should you check that your service brakes working properly? How? Uh, hint, easy hint for, you, hint for you. When you see 5 miles per hour, that's the correct answer. Read uh, uh, properly. What you need, 
how do you need to check your service brake. You need to move, right? You need to move slowly forward. Move forward slowly. About five about miles five per hour. About five miles per hour. Whenever you see five miles per hour, uh -uh, that's probably would be the correct answer. Because you are not allowed to stop, to park. You need to move forward slowly at about five miles per hour. And that's how you check your service brake. Service brake forward five miles per hour. Okay? Service brake five miles per hour. Question number 12. Question number 12. A straight track or bus air brake system should not leak at the rate of more than how many psi per minute with the engine off and the brakes released? Brake released, engine Please off. Please pay attention. Engine off, engine is always off. But pay attention to the condition of the brakes. If the brakes are released, then the leak on a straight truck should not be more than two. Okay, brakes released, air leak no more than two. Question number 13. During normal driving, spring brakes are usually held back. Uh -huh. There was question like two questions before. Uh, they are held on, turned on by spring pressure. But during normal driving, the spring brakes are usually held back by air pressure. When you drive, your air compressor pumps the air into the system. And the pressure, air pressure into the system uh, is uh, holding back uh, spring brakes. All right? Holding back spring brakes. During normal driving, spring brakes are held back by air pressure. Question number 14. The air compressor stops pumping air at what PSI? That's also some kind of uh, uh, figure you need to remember. 125. That's the normal air pressure and the air compressor is calibrated to stop pumping, uh, pumping air at this pressure. You remember, again, if, if it doesn't, for example, and pressure gets 150, then safety valve um, takes over. But normally, air compressor stops pumping air. At what PSI? 125. Question number 15. The driver must be able to see a low air pressure warning, which comes on before pressure in the service air tanks falls below how many PSI? 60. 60. 60. Alarm. Alarm. Again, the system is calibrated so for you to be able to see those air pressure warning signal. It might be sound signal. It might be a uh, light signal. Warning. Warning signal comes on when? When pressure in the service air tanks falls below 60 PSI. Question number 16. Excessive use of uh, the service brakes results in overheating, which can lead to, to what condition? Expansion. Overheat. Yeah, because when you brake too much, when you use them uh, too frequently, they uh, get hot, and because of uh, excessive temperature, they expand. Okay? Brake drum, drums can expand, expansion. Okay, overheating, expansion. Very good. Question number 17. The most common type of foundation brake found on a heavy vehicle is... Well, actually, the question is very simple. What is most common type of the brakes? Don't pay attention to these foundation brakes. Most common type of the brakes... S-CAM drum. S-CAM drum. S-CAM. Because S-CAM is a special uh, part of the of the brake system in, uh, well, uh, shaped like letter S. Okay? And that's why it's called S-CAM drum. 
not wedge, not disc, not anything else. As can. Question number 18. If you must make an emergency stop, you should break so you. That's a question which refers uh, you back to general knowledge section, for example. You need to remember, emergency stop, you need, you, you need to make an emergency stop. So you should brake so you can steer, right? And the vehicle stays in a straight line. Straight line. Straight line. That's a clue. That's a keyword. Okay, emergency stop. Always brake so you can steer and the vehicle stays in a straight line. Question number 19. Your truck or bus has a dual air brake system. If a low pressure warning comes on for only one system, what should you do? That's exactly the same question we encountered like five or six questions before. Don't be surprised. Sometimes they are, uh, they, they could be repeated. So when you read it, don't again be surprised. The right answer is absolutely the same. You see pressure, air pressure warning. Alarm. Alarm, you stop. Stop. You and stop safely park. Right away. No, no, uh, no, nothing else. The only option for you is stop right away, safely park. Okay? Safely park. So when you see these questions twice or, or even three times, that's, that's okay. That's the correct answer, still the same. Stop right away. Question number 20. If your vehicle has an alcohol evaporator, every day during cold weather, you should. What should you do if you do have an alcohol evaporator? You should check, check and, and feel. feel. You remember again? Like, check uh, and feel. Uh, five, six questions before, you've been asked uh, if you don't uh, keep the proper level of alcohol. Brake failure could happen. That's why when you have this alcohol evaporator, what you need to do, you should check and feel the alcohol level. Okay, so you see some, some of the questions, most of them actually are interconnected. Okay, very good. Question number 21. The air loss rate for a straight truck or bus with the engine off and brakes on should, be, should not be more than... 3 PSI in this particular case. Okay. Just remember, leak always rated in minutes, mm -hmm. not, not in, in seconds. seconds. So, right answer would be only one. 3 PSI in one minute. And also pay attention to the condition of the brakes. Brakes on, 3 PSI per minute. 3 brakes on. Question number 22. A driver must be able to see a low air pressure warning which comes on before pressure in service air tanks falls below how many PSI? Now, that's a, a repeated question. We already uh, encountered this question. It's 60. 60 the right PSI. answer is 60 Alarm. PSI. Alarm comes on. Alarm, low air pressure warning comes on when pressure falls below 60 psi question number 23 the braking power of the spring brakes and you you need to complete the sentence what about the braking power of the spring brakes just remember uh, the braking power depends on the service brakes being in adjustment in adjustment adjustment in adjustment that's a good uh, indication of the correct answer Okay. Question number 24. The air brake lag distance at 55 miles per hour on dry pavement adds about how many feet? You just need to remember that when you press brake pedal, it takes about one third of the second for uh, air um, start working to the uh, brake pads and for this uh, amount of time uh, your truck uh, drives about 32 feet 
That's how you need to understand. Just remember, at 55 miles per hour, lag distance is 32 feet. 32 feet. Question number 25. Total stopping distance for air brakes is longer than that for hydraulic brakes. Due to what distance? Exactly, you see, it's a brake lag. Because again, in hydraulic brakes, when you press the brake pedal, well, it responds almost immediately. In air brake uh, equipped vehicle, you have one third of the second. Brake lag distance, 32 feet, as in the previous question you saw, right? Brake lag distance. 32 feet at 55 miles. Question number 26. It is accepted that too much heat caused by using your brakes too often can also cause what? Definitely, if you um, apply the brakes pedal too often, then you can cause brake uh, to fade or fail. Fade or fail. Fade or fail. Fail or failure is always the indication of the of the right answer. Okay, let's see if we are right. Yes. Question number 27. Repeatedly, partially releasing and pressing the brake pedal may result in, in what? In what phenomenon? Definitely in a loss of uh, um, uh, brake air pressure. Just remember, when you release and apply the brakes repeatedly, it causes loss of brake air pressure. Okay? Loss. Loss. Question number 28. The brake system that applies and releases the brakes when the driver uses the brake pedal is uh, what kind of brake system, what type of brake system? When you use brake pedal, definitely it's service brake system. Service. service. That's the system which is activated when you use your brake pedal, right? Service. Not parking, not emergency, not anything else. Service. Question number 29. A slack adjuster's free play needs to be adjusted if it is more than about how many inches when you pull hard on it? Well, question is very simple. What is the free play? One inch. Okay. One inch. That's that's the, the the point. When you see free play, slack adjuster free play, you go directly to this option. One inch. One inch. That's a um, allow it free play. No more. If more, it needs to be adjusted, right? Very good. Question number thirty. An air brake system is fully charged. Fully charged. It is considered to be fully charged at uh, uh, 125 psi air pressure when you have 125 psi uh, in the system uh, in the service air tank the system is considered to be fully charged okay very good question number 31 your truck or bus has a dual air brake system if a low air pressure warning uh, comes on for only one system. What should you do? That's it. This is the third time we encountered this question and I, I already told you don't be surprised Just go to the same option bring vehicle to a safe stop and safely park. Safely park. When you see warning Doesn't matter how many system how many dual triple quadruple brake system you have warning low air pressure boom Safely park stop and park Very good. Question number 32. The brake pedal in an air brake system, well, implying does what? A brake pedal controls air pressure applied to put on the brakes, right? So when you press the brake pedal, the harder you push the brake pedal, the more pressure you apply. So it definitely controls how much air pressure you apply 
to the brakes. It controls the air pressure, not the speed, not anything else. Air pressure applied to put on the brakes. Applied pressure. Very good. Question number 33. Really short question. Huh? S cam. Well, what it is? S cam. And uh, S cam, or what it does? It forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. That's a central piece of uh, any uh, air brake system. It's inside a special detail uh, piece of metal uh, in the, well, S uh, letter shape. And what it does, it forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Mm -hmm. Brake shoes or brake pads against the inside against question number 34 under normal conditions in order to engage the parking brakes driver well does what under normal condition to engage the parking brakes and uh, what you need to do you need to let the air out of the air brake system let air out because w when you have uh, like fully charged uh, air brake system the parking brakes are held back by the air pressure which you normally have in your system so you need to let this air out and that's how you engage parking brakes you engage parking brakes you just pull the yellow but uh, the red but yellow button up mm -hmm, and let the air out over air brake system out very good question number 35 all all air brake equipped vehicles have have what what do they have all of them every single one of them a supply pressure gauge supply pressure gauge. supply pressure gauge which shows you how much pressure you have all right that's again safety matter you might not have a use gauge or backup hydraulic system but you have to have supply pressure gauge which would show you will show you how much pressure you have in the system right that's why all vehicles air brake vehicles should have supply pressure gauge right supply pressure gauge question number 36 with the uh, air brake vehicles the parking brake should be used should be used in what manner i would say whenever whenever you leave the vehicle and whenever again doesn't matter with air brake vehicles hydraulic brake vehicles no brake vehicles Parking brakes should be used how? Whenever. Whenever you see you leave the vehicle unattended, you have to use parking brakes. Okay? Very good. And again, whenever is a good word. We use this word in the general knowledge section, and always it was the indication of the correct answer. Question number 37. A straight truck, straight truck, or bus, air brake system, should not leak at the rate of more than how many psi per minute with the engine off engine off and the brakes release brakes let release. me repeat again pay attention to the condition of the brakes if they are released it should be two if they are on it would be three but here you are asked uh, leak rate brakes released okay you go directly to this uh, choice it should not be more than 2 psi per minute. Okay? Very good. Question number 38. Which of these of this, is not a proper time to apply the parking brakes? Okay? Now, you need to locate the uh, wrong action. The, the time when it's not a good time right to apply the parking brakes and definitely you do not use the parking brakes to control the to control your speed when coming down the steep grade mm -hmm. that's when the parking brakes are not advised to be used 
that's not a proper time to use you have to use parking brakes when you park okay uh, but you do not use your parking brakes on a grade on a moving vehicle okay not a proper time very good question number 39 with the uh, air brake vehicles the parking brakes should be used okay just two questions ago we answered this question and uh, it's actually the same was whenever mm -hmm. but uh, in this time you see you are uh, told that any time any time which is uh, well means the same so when you see parking brakes should be used whenever any time when vehicle is parked you have to use your parking brake never forget about it it's very important safety measure always use your parking brake when you park question number 40 why should you drain water from compressed air tanks and you guys definitely already remember the right answer because this water okay which sits in the bottom of the uh, compressed air tank that it can freeze and cause what another indication of the right answer failure Failure. brake failure it can freeze and cause brake failure you wouldn't be able to use your brakes failure why you have you uh, you have to drain because it can cause failure if you don't do this all right very good question number 41 if the spring brakes are on when should you push the brake pedal never 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 never, never. All right, because if the spring brakes are on, that means uh, your vehicle is parked and the parking brakes are on or emergency brakes are on, spring brakes on. So there is no need and no use of, of a service brake. Never, never should you push the brake pedal when the spring brakes are on. Never. Never. Question number 42. To check the free play of manual slack adjuster on SCAM brakes you should first park where okay you need to locate where you, you you should park and then complete the sentence so to check the free play you remember free play is checked with the brakes released so you need to park on a level ground first to prevent uh, the vehicle uh, from rolling uh-huh and then chalk the wheels chalk the, the wheels. wheels and after that release the parking brakes and only after all this you know manipulation will be completed you'll be able to check the free play of uh, this slack adjuster which is one inch mm -hmm. very good so again to check the free play of slack adjuster park on the level ground chalk the wheels and release the parking brakes that's the only uh, right sequence of the events right chalk the wheels question number 43 excessive heat caused by using your brakes too often can also cause what fail 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 or fade fade or fail fail so excessive heat is always associated with a fail failure of the brakes because when your brake pads are hot all right they wouldn't be able to stop your vehicle fade or fail question number 44 if you must make an emergency stop you must make an emergency stop no choice you should brake so you you can steer uh-huh and your vehicle stays in a straight line straight line again that's uh, more than one repetition of such a question and you need to remember that's again very important safety issue if you must make an emergency stop always remember try to brake so you can steer and the vehicle stays in a straight line straight straight line Question number 45. The use of brakes on a long and steep downgrade, downgrade under normal condition is only a supplement tool. Okay, and please remember, 
that the use of brakes is only a supplement to the braking effect of the engine. Braking effect. So recommended textbook, recommended expert, recommended way to slow your vehicle on a long steep downgrade is to use braking effect of the engine first. And only then you will use your brakes is only a supplement to this braking effect of the engine. Okay. So on steep downgrade again, don't rem don't don't forget it's braking effect first, and brake uh, is only a supplement. Question number forty six. Most most important thing to do when a lower pressure warning comes on is very simple stop and safely park. Again, guys, whenever you see, anytime you see warning. Warning, anytime you see lower pressure, well, no alternatives. The only, the right thing, safe thing to do is to stop and safely park safe and as park. soon as possible. All right? Very good. Question number 47. The parking or emergency brake on a heavy vehicles can only be held in position by something that cannot, cannot leak cannot away. Cannot leak away. And definitely the only spring pressure, uh, spring pressure cannot leak away. So that's why pork and emergency brakes held in position by spring pressure. All right. When you see what it is cannot leak away, spring pressure. Question number 48. Air braking takes more time longer than hydraulic braking. Because, because of what? Because it takes more time to flow through the lines, right? That's why it takes more time. Because it air takes more time to flow through the lines. And by the way, that's the reason of a, a <clears throat> brake lag distance of 32 feet which uh, uh, makes the air braking longer than hydraulic, right? Because it takes more time to flow through the lines after the driver hits the brake pedal. Very good. And uh, uh, lastly, the, another hint here, when you see hydraulic in the question, hydraulic in the answer choice, it may help you to recognize the correct answer. Question number 49. When brakes are applied, the brake shoes will press against of what? Okay, it's very e easy, guys. Drum, drum. That's what brake drum, drum is for. Mm -hmm. uh, when brakes are applied, the brake shoes will press against the inside of the brake drum, right? Very good. Brake drum or disc in some uh, type of the vehicle. Safety valve discharges automatically when, okay, we discussed it already, this uh, issue, it's 150. It's 150. When pressure is more than, uh, well, safe uh, level, 150, the safety valve takes over and discharges automatically. All right, 150, safety valve, 150. Question number 51. Emergency step braking. What it is? What is emergency step braking? Um, step braking, that's a special technique which you use to prevent uh, your brakes locking up. So uh, the right answer is C. Press on the brake pedal as hard as you can, but then release the brakes when the wheels locked. And then put on the brakes again when the wheels start rolling. So the longest answer is the right one. And again, pay attention to this particular fact. Emergency, emergency step braking. That's a special technique. You press as hard as you can and then release the brakes when the wheels are locked. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> no keywords. Longest answer is, uh, well, the, the key for you. Question number 52. A slack adjuster's free play needs to be adjusted 
if it is more than about how many inches when you pull hard on it. Again, when you uh, read Slack Adjuster free play, you can disregard anything else. Free play is always one inch. One inch. Slack Adjuster free play is always one inch. One inch. Question number 53. If uh, air pressure is not built up within the correct amount of time, then then what? Definitely, then you're going to have a problem. Air pressure may drop to a low point while driving, requiring an emergency stop. Again, if you see such a question, if air pressure is not built up, if something is going wrong, then you might have a problem while driving. Your air pressure may drop to a low point. Okay? Pressure is not built up. It might require emergency stop. Question number 54. The third time this question is repeated, but it's again, it's for good. You just need to remember, safety valve reduces pressure. It's a little bit differently formulated, but the same. You see safety valve, you associate, you go directly to 150. Safety 150, valve, safety valve, 150. 150. Okay, good. 55. Why should you drain water from compressed air tanks? Why? Because it can freeze. But most importantly, it can cause what? Brake failure. Brake failure. If you don't do that, it can cause brake failure. Again, failure is a good word. Well, oh, keyword. Keyword which shows you the right answer. Question number 56. When brakes are applied, the brake shoes will align to press against the what? Well, against the drum. Against the br drum, brake drum, or disc. Okay? Shoes align to press against what? Against the brake drum. Actually, that's what you have the drum for, right? Brake drum or disc. Question number 57, again, again the repetition, but again, that's, uh, this is for, uh, for your benefit. You just need to remember why you need, why should you drain water from compressed air tanks? Drain water because water can freeze and cause brake failure. Brake failure. Again, uh, we emphasize the fact that some uh, questions might be repeated. Uh, but uh, don't be surprised. Just answer and uh, go with the same answer. Failure. Break failure. failure. Question number 58. If you must make an emergency stop, you, you must make an emergency stop. So you should break so you, you can steer and your vehicle stays in a straight Line. Straight Again, line. That's a that's a key. That's a clue. Straight line. Straight line. Don't let your vehicle slide uh, sideways. All right. Fifty nine. Supply pressure gauge. Supply pressure gauge shows how much pressure. Why right? you have uh, in air tanks? Air tanks. Supply air tanks. Supply. That's uh, the the pressure gauge which shows you how much you supplied uh, to the air tank, okay, or tanks if you have uh, more than one. So supply pressure gauge is in the air tanks in the system. That's the main one. All of the uh, vehicles should have, uh, well, the same question. No? Supply pressure gauge shows how much pressure uh, is in the air tanks. You see, the question is the same. The choices which uh, are given to you uh, different, right? But uh, uh, but still, again, go to the correct answer. Supply pressure gauge is in the air tank. It's air not tanks. in any lines. Supply air tanks. It's in the main system, air tanks. Very good. Question number 61. A braking power of the spring brakes. Uh, you need to complete the sentence, and the uh, completed correct statement 
is this one. The braking power of the springs break of the spring brakes depends on the service brakes being in adjustment. In adjustment. All right. In adjustment. In adjustment. When you see this, that's the correct answer. Question number sixty-two. Your brakes are fading when when they are fading fading means they start to work uh well Water not power. that good okay probably uh, having some 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 kind of problem so your brakes are fading when how do you uh, when and how you you can like recognize that they are fading when you realize that you have to push harder push harder on the brake pedal to control your speed on a downgrade everyone as well is fami familiar with that uh, phenomenon right you have to push harder to control the speed on a downgrade or uh, any anywhere else so that's what uh, the sign of uh, the brakes uh, that they are fading. You have to push harder. Question number 63. If your vehicle has an alcohol evaporator, it is there to, what it is there for, all right? It is there to reduce the risk of icing in the brake valves in cold weather. Because the vapors, alcohol vapors, reduce the risk of icing, reduce the, uh, well, freezing point of the, um, <clears throat> of the water vapors. Okay, so when you see alcohol evaporator, you directly go to the uh, risk of icing. That's what it is for. It reduces the risk of icing in the air brake valves in cold weather. Risk icing. Question number 64. Air compressor governor controls. What does it control? Governor, okay? Just remember, governor, that's some special device which control when air is pumped. When air is pumped. Into the air tank. So you don't have to, well, worry about, uh, uh, well, if your air compressor working or not. The governor uh, does it for you. Governor, when you see governor, you need to know that it controls when air is pumped, okay? So at 125 PSI, the governor stops the compressor. At 100 PSI, it uh, like uh, starts uh, it again. So governor, when air is pumped, when? Question number 65. Modern air brake system combine three different systems. And they are one service two parking and what is the uh, the third one the third one is definitely emergency emergency okay sometimes you might be given the question where uh, would be indicated a service emergency and you need to complete but remember three of them service parking and the third one is emergency, emergency. question number 66 if you do not have automatic tank drains how often should you drain the oil and water from the bottom of compressive air storage tanks again disregard uh, anything else you do not have automatic tank drains how often should you drain how often at least at the end of each day of driving end of each day of driving mm -hmm. at least at the end of each day of driving you need to drain the oil and water from the bottom of compressed air storage tank if you do not have automatic drains each day question number 67 the proper use of the brakes when going down a long steep grade after selecting a proper gear is to brake until your speed is about uh, how many miles per hour below the posted speed for your safety and then release your brakes again long sentence but just just pay attention uh, pay attention to the fact that five miles per hour is most probably uh, well not most probably in this case it's correct answer but in any other cases five is good choice five is great choice mm -hmm. five miles per hour so you need to brake until your speed is about five miles per hour below the posted speed uh, and then release the brakes.
Okay, five miles per hour is always good choice. Question number 68. In ideal conditions, a truck or bus with an air brake going at 55 miles per hour would require stopping distance of how many feet? Again, that's easy stuff. 55 miles per hour. It should be long distance, more than 300 feet. More than 300 feet. Mm -hmm. Lands of football field. Yeah, don't get uh, deep into the calculation. Just remember, it's more than 300 feet. At that uh, speed, it's more than 300 feet. You need to bring the vehicle to a complete stop. All right? Very good. Question number 69. When it is okay to leave your truck unattended, Without applying the parking brakes and choking the wheels? Definitely never. Never. It's never okay. Never. Our key word. Yeah, and this word is, uh, well, mo in most of the cases, it indicates um, the correct answer. Never is never. okay to leave your truck unattended. All right? Very good. Question number 70. Stop light switch. All right? Well, implying what does it mean? Stop light switch. Stop light switch is to warn drivers behind you. That's what it is for. It turns on your brake lights. Okay? So when you press the brake pedal, this stop light switch turns on your brake lights for what? To warn drivers behind warn you. Warn drivers behind you. Warn. Warn. Very good. Question number 71. It is not safe to drive a vehicle that has brake drums with cracks that are longer than, uh, well, how much of the width of the friction area? Well, actually, it's, uh, well, any, but uh, for the sake of the test, again, for the purpose of the test, you just need to remember one half. One half. If the cracks in the, ooh, well, in the drum, longer than half, one half of the width of the friction area, it is prohibited. It's not safe to operate such a vehicle. Width of the friction area, one half. Friction area, one half. Question number 72. To test air service brakes, you should. What should you do to test Air service brakes. Air service brakes. Well, you need to brake firmly, firmly while slowly moving forward. That's an obvious choice. Okay? So, you're not supposed to drive backward. You just go forward, drive slowly forward, and then brake firmly. And that's how you test uh, if your air service brakes work properly okay all right very good firmly forward firmly forward question number 73 if you are driving down to the steep downgrade and you have reached the speed of 40 miles per hour you would apply the service brake until your speed dropped to below how how many miles per hour and again remember like three questions ago we we have um, <clears throat> dealt with uh, the same type of question, 5 miles per hour. So, the choice here is 35, because your speed is 40, so you apply the service brake until your speed drops to below 5 miles per hour, which is 35, 35 below the speed 35. Rate. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. No mistakes. No mistakes. We have completed the uh, air brakes test. We uh, completed 73 questions, no mistakes done. Uh, and now uh, you can either to uh, repeat, start all over again, or get back to the main menu and choose next test, which is a combination vehicles. Put your um, well next uh, DVD, CD, and um, good luck uh, with the next test. Thank you.